Hello family. If you're new here, hi, I'm Boy. I play a variety of games, but this one's going to be a little different. I think I'm going to decide to uh, add into the little repertoire, excuse me, of uh, what we normally upload here. Now, I usually do visual novels and stuff, but due to recent events, I want to absolutely talk to you guys about grieving and respecting others. Now, if you guys didn't know, Akira Toriyama had passed away. Rest in peace. You know, little moments of silence. Okay. Now, for a lot of us, Akira Toriyama made our whole entire childhood. He was the person who created characters in video games and in anime that sparked other ideas to happen in other people and for a lot of us it gave us hope whether we're writers whether we're just viewers of anime or whether we're uh you know manga artists and all that stuff it, he gave us hope to do other things a lot of us grieve over this man because even me as a child dragon ball z would bring us together me and my family we fought a lot and I do mean a lot. Me and my brothers and them fought so much. And it was like as if that all went away when Dragon Ball Z would come on. And it made our whole entire day to just sit there and watch and then like like just talk about the episodes. Like, oh, what do you think is going to happen next? Oh, I think this is going to happen. And as I got older, I found out that Akira Toriyama... Uh, also dabbled in video games he made characters for certain video games like Chrono Trigger and Dragon Quest and I also played both of those games and the games I didn't play I watch people play now um, as fans of his we're all hurt very very much so hurt and I want you, if you want to, to use this video because this is going to be like our talking video. I'm going to probably call it like unpack and talking, I guess. Unpack and discussion or something. <laughs> Anyways, um, but I want you to use this video to be go down to the comment section and talk about just the, some of the things that, you know, you felt when you were grieving and stuff. And even just straying away from Akira Toriyama and talking about personal grievances and stuff, I know how it feels and how long it can take for you to give, get over someone passing away. I know for me, when my grandmother passed, she was my best friend and she was gone instantly. And when she passed, she passed lying in my arms. I held her and she was gone and looked at her and she stared at me and she was gone and uh for me it took me 11 years to get over that it took me 11 years to get over that and a, a lot of people you know they may be hurt for two days and then you know they jump back on the the normal train and some of us are hurt longer and then we, you know, after a while, it's just like, we can talk about it now. You know, we go back to normal. And then there's some of us that grieve and continue to grieve and nothing stops that grievances because it's so much that wasn't said and so much that wasn't done. And whether it's a grandparent or a mother or a sister or a brother or a best friend, it hurts every time. And even if you're just a fan of someone's art, hearing that they passed, it hurts you a little bit. You may not boohoo cry, but you feel it. You feel it and it, and it hurts, like I said. So um, when it comes to this, I've noticed that a lot of people are bashing people for crying or even just feeling upset because there have been people crying about his passing and or just really upset about his passing. And the thing they go to is saying that, you know, you don't know him. You guys weren't close. You weren't friends. You don't even make anime. Why do you care? You don't even watch anime. Why do you care? 
Uh, you just play like one or two of his games. Why do you care? Blah, blah, blah. All that stuff. The thing where a respecting people comes in is that you cannot tell somebody how to grieve and you cannot tell somebody what they can grieve over. Some of us have grieved over, are grieving over objects. And that's okay. That is 100% okay. And some of us are just grieving over small things. Well, what you would consider small, I still consider this a big thing. But like if a pet passes away, a lot of people consider that a small thing and think that you shouldn't be crying because your dog died or your cat died or your squirrel or your hamster or your mouse died. And I 100% believe that you should. When you feel sad, you should feel sad. And I hate that a lot of people take that away from you and tell you that you can't feel those things. You're not allowed to feel those things. You are allowed to feel those things. And this is why I said that in this community, I want to build a community where we are able to feel and talk about stuff, discuss stuff, respectfully correct people when they're wrong and build even more peace and love. Why do you think every time I end a video, I say peace and love? Because I mean it. I want you guys to have peace and love no matter what. And the problem with everybody um, kind of doing their thing where they're correcting people and being rude about it, or even if, let's just not say you're trying to correct somebody, but let's say that you're trying to disagree with someone. You can do all of that respectfully. So if you see somebody comment under something and they say, oh, I'm so sad, I'm so hurt that this man passed away or this person, this celebrity passed away, this YouTuber, this TikToker, whatever you watch, this Twitch streamer, this kick streamer, whatever it is, if they are hurt, they are hurt. And I want you to put yourself in their shoes. Let's say it wasn't a curatoriama. Let's say you're a fan of Markiplier's or Jacksepticeye, or Corey Kenshin, Berlizzi, any one of them, uh, I Christie, um, Jazzy Guns, anybody you can think of, a, a YouTuber. You watch them every day and all night, you can binge watch every video that you've already watched a thousand times and you find out that they passed away. Or even me. How would you feel if you found out that I was gone and I wasn't here anymore? If you're a fan of mine, how would you feel? You'd feel hurt. So respect other people and you know how they feel about um, whatever celebrity that they like or whatever YouTuber, influencer that they are, you know, they like because you just never know. And like, I feel, I always tell everybody the same thing is that if I could make one person laugh, or just make the day of anybody, then I've done my job. I've done my job and I'm uber happy and I'll give it 110% in every video. Even when I'm recording the videos on Twitch stream and I don't have a big following on Twitch stream. I think it's like 50, maybe 70 people. Between that range of 50 and 70 people that follow me on Twitch. If one person clicks in and be like, wow, you were so funny. I did my job. I did my job and I'm proud of myself no matter what. But that one person can be my fan and you may not be my fan and something might happen to me and they cry because something happened to me. You cannot tell that person that it's not okay for them to feel for me because I feel for y'all. Just like I'm sure as I... uh said before like jacksepticeye like markiplier like every youtuber you can think of like they feel for y'all dashy berlizzi all those people they feel for y'all like like i feel for y'all i love you guys and you guys are my family and i'm sure uh akira toriyama he he loved his audience and he felt for his audience i'm sure he wasn't just making anime and not caring how people felt about it because clearly he did so and just to hear that so many people who met him or 
if they didn't meet him, how he influenced their life is it's so beautiful. It is so beautiful when you have that impact on the world. And it's like all across the world. It's not in just Japan. It's in the U.S. and everywhere else you can think of. There are Dragon Ball Z fans and Akira Toriyama fans in general all over. And it's beautiful. So please be respectful to people who are grieving. And if you just don't have nothing nice to say, if you just think it's stupid, if even, though, even hearing me talk about it, if you just feel like it's still stupid, then just don't say anything. Don't, don't engage with it. Step away from it. Walk away from it. You know, that type of thing. Anyways. That's just kind of like a talking thing. I'm checking on you guys. So uh, for you guys, I am okay. I am a fan of Akira Toriyama. I am a fan of Dragon Ball Z heavily. It was in my childhood. I still watch it to this day, even though me and my siblings are not as close as we used to. I still watch it to this day, but this is the video. I want y'all to know that I am checking on you. This is my, I'm asking, are you okay? You let me know in the comment section and I don't care if you type out a paragraph or if you're uncomfortable with a paragraph. I tell everybody all the time. You can just reach out to me in one of my emails or on Twitter. I'm on Twitter as well. It's all in the description box below. And, um, you know, talk to me. I don't care. But yeah, this is just a video to check on y'all. I want to make sure y'all are okay. I am okay. I am hurt and I am sad, but I'm grieving quietly if that makes sense you know I I felt it 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 hurts but um I'm taking one day at a time and as I go on I am you know thinking about the memories watching memories online whether I'm on TikTok or whatever I'm using and um I'm watching some of the memories online that people are posting certain different uh Dragon Ball Z clips uh, character, their favorite characters from Chrono Trigger or their favorite character from uh, Dragon Quest. But this is just me checking on you guys because I know I'm okay, but I want to make sure you guys are okay. Even if you're not just grieving over uh, Mr. Toriyama, you may be grieving over, you know, a loved one passing away, a, a pet passing away, or a best friend passing away in some way like family friends or something has passed away and you just don't have no one to talk about this is the place to talk about it and any toxic things in the comments will get deleted i don't care what you think i it, like i care what the people who want to share think i absolutely do not care about toxic people i don't care how you feel about this channel because you're not welcome here if you're going to be toxic this is not the place so thank you guys so much. I truly appreciate it. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. And I will see all you guys in the next video. And I think I'm going to just... Like you can put in the comment section what you think I should call this series. But I'm just going to say... Uh, gaming and talking, I guess. I'll just call it gaming and talking for now. Or gaming and discussion. And then put the... You know, what I want to call it or whatever. But peace and love, you guys. I hope you guys are staying safe out there. I love each and every one of you guys. Bye.